Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty awesome unboxing, unpouching. I have the Dan Carraher Integral on the table today. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this in just a second. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. So <clears throat> um, I just got this in. I have been um, anxiously awaiting this <laughs> to arrive. I just came across um, Dan's knives. He's a custom maker, uh, I wanna say about a month ago. And I was just, you know, on Instagram liking his pictures. And I thought, wow, this is great work, you know, cause he does a lot of work in progress uh, shots and um and some videos and i thought this is this is awesome this is really cool stuff and i thought he just made uh, custom knives so i would check out his videos and um you know like his pictures and leave a comment all right cool and then he posted um you know kind of his main model he does make multiple models but one of his main models that uh i feel like is his kind of signature signature model uh, and he said it's for sale. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know that he was just putting up the customs for sale on his Instagram. And I did a little bit more research. It turns out that uh, it was a production model. So I thought, oh, I didn't even know he had a production line. I went to his website. I did some more research, checked it out. Turns out he has one production model that is available. It is in this pouch. It is an integral knife. And I was thinking to myself, because he had, he had a pre-order. He just opened a pre-order for, I think it's Damasteel or half-dressed or full-dressed, some, you know, some fancier um, variations of the same model of the integral. And I thought, oh, I have to, I got to wait. I got to do the pre-order. And turns out he has the, I was thinking to myself, oh, if only he had a plain titanium one, I'd get it right now. And he had a plain titanium one in stock. So last time I checked, there were still a few in stock. Um, and he is doing a pre-order for the fancier versions. So you can pre-order that if you want to. But last time I checked, these are still on his website. Let's go ahead and get unpouched here and see. Ooh. Oh, man. Epic. Really, really epic. So... Pretty nice pouch, Dan Carraher, cool. Here is the COA card, awesome. Yeah, so that's kind of his, he does a lot of hidden hardware, which is pretty awesome. And I think I remember him even posting kind of how he does the hidden hardware, which I, I was not aware of. I did not know that's how you do it. So that's very cool. Awesome, at Dan Carher Knives, Dan Carher, cool, cool, cool. And we have model 904 Integral, thumb stud, steel M390, titanium all the way across. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. So here we have Integral, one solid piece of titanium, no backspacer. This is just one piece of titanium that is milled out. Whew, man, these are not cheap, <laughs> these are not cheap. And if you notice, or if you go to his website or on his Instagram, the, the production models are flipper only, which, you know, a lot of people don't mind, but I've been kind of flippered out lately. So um, I talked with Dan and he, you know, he's also a custom maker, so he can do these customizations. And I mean, you got you to run it by him first to see if he is willing to, to do this stuff, you know, maybe some custom anno or custom finishes but anyway he put uh he put thumb studs on for me so i got thumb studs and the flipper integral let's see how it flips let's go with the flipper first oh so solid i mean check out that blade shape we got this crazy kind of fatty harpoon oh man so, so nice. Really great spot for me to rest my thumb. Wow, really comfortable. Ergos are phenomenal. 
I went with the belt satin. They had two versions, or he had two versions on his website. Um, one of them was like a kind of like a black stone, like a dark stone wash, or coat, maybe like a PB DLC coated, uh, and then stone wash. And of course, I went with the belt satin. The nice little recurve going on. Feels like a ridiculously sticky, sharp edge. And these are, um, let's see the clothes. Oh, <laughs> oh man, come on, come on. So smooth, wow, wow. I am, I'm very impressed. So again, these are, these are not cheap. Um, these are like 400 plus, um, I forget the exact price, 400, 450 maybe. But that's expected because it is an integral knife. Those are much harder to machine. It's just one solid piece of titanium. I get it. And uh, damn, look at that action. Thumb studs feel great. Really snappy. I'm glad I got the thumb studs on there. As much as I enjoy this flipping action. Um, yeah, I, I, need, I need the studs on there. Now these are... Um, so, so Dan designs these, obviously. He's also a custom maker. He makes this model and a couple other models that I've seen. His custom work looks really, really damn good. A lot of hidden hardware. We can see, like for the, for the clip, the, uh, the screw is on the inside. Let's see what we got going on here. Going on in here. <laughs> no internal milling, which I'm trying to think, have I seen, have I seen an integral with internal milling? Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. No, I don't think integrals have internal milling. Anyway, um, these are produced by Bestec, who, you know, Bestec does some crazy good work. If you've seen the, um, what's it called? The Isotope from Vero, also an integral from Bestec. So anyway, Dan designs these, Bestec makes them. I mean, Best tech just crushed this. <laughs> crushed it. So, so super smooth. The fit and finish is amazing. We just have the plain titanium, but feels great. I think this is kind of like a blasted, blasted finish. Ergos are ridiculous. I love that blade shape, which normally I'm not a fan of these kind of harpoon-ish blade shapes, but this one just kind of fits. I definitely do not have another blade, uh, another pocket knife with that blade shape. This is, as far as I'm concerned, this is very unique <laughs> for my collection, at least. Really, really comfortable. Wow, this is like, this may be the most comfortable knife that I've held this year. And I know it's only, what is it, March? Um, but damn, <laughs> really, really comfortable. I don't feel the clip at all. Zero hot spots, no sharp edges. Best Tech did an unbelievably good job. So you can see that. Let's see. Yeah. Lock up. Perfect. There's little cutouts for my thumb. Oh my gosh. So smooth. Yep. D10 is solid. Really nice, wow. I am a big fan. I don't know how I feel about the, uh, the signature on the back, but uh, I don't know, I guess it's cool. I mean, there's no other billboarding, right? So there's no, there's nothing on the blade. There's no, you know, steel marking or no other branding. So I guess, uh, I guess that's all right. <laughs> and it's pretty kind of classy and subtle and it matches the, um, matches the pouch. All right, cool. So. First impressions, unpouching, unboxing. I can't stop flipping this, it's just so smooth. Damn, uh, I'm really looking forward to carrying this. Even though it's a, an expensive knife, this definitely feel, you know, sometimes you, you get an expensive knife and you feel like, oh, you know, like a, um, what do I have on the table? Like I have something from CKF and 
you feel like, ah, I don't really, I don't know if I want to use this, you know, I don't know if I want to carry this, but this feels like a really, I don't know if it's the finish I got or it's just how comfortable it is, but this feels like, like wow, I really want to carry this, you know, even though it's an expensive knife, you know, 450 plus, um, I feel like, yeah, I, I, want, I definitely want to carry this and I want to carry it and use it and I'm not going to feel like, oh, I, 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 sh I shouldn't use this one or this is just part of my collection. This definitely feels like a user already, just right out of the pouch, which is definitely a good sign. And also, yes, it is an integral, um, so you don't need those body screws, but j just a cool design that you have this uh, no tooling mark on the on the pivot, so it's only on the back. And of course, no body screws. It's super clean looking. And then on the back, you don't see the screw for the clip because it's hidden on the other side. Pretty good design, Dan. Crushed it. Um, I'm excited about this one. Really, really exciting knife. And I'm looking forward to getting this one in pocket. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I'll catch you later.